All right, guys, on my way to the post office. I'm gonna take a little trip, uh, check on some shipping costs. I actually found a buyer for one of my lenses. As most of you know, I'm trying to sell my camera equipment. So I found a buyer for one of those lenses here in Manila. However, it's being orchestrated through a gentleman in America um, who saw it on his Facebook page or on my Facebook page. Um, I'm going to let you guys know how much it costs, what the process is like, and all that good stuff, so stay tuned. Okay, guys, so shipping charges were a little bit cheaper than I expected them to be. Um, I'm going to go over the full detail with you as soon as I get home here. Uh, we did go by the post office today, and to ship in country in the Philippines is really not that expensive at all. Um, but to ship to America, of course, is going to cost you a little bit more. And I will go over those charges in detail next. Hey, what's up, guys? So I have finished uh, shipping my lens domestically here in the Philippines. Uh, but I also have information on how to ship uh, internationally. Uh, this is using Phil Post, which is, uh, I guess, the local postal system here. I'm still not completely familiar with um, all the options and alternatives for uh, shipping products here in the Philippines. However, I'm going to give you the information that I do know. <clears throat> so I ship a small lens uh, domestically to Manila for a buyer, um, but the purchase was orchestrated through an American in America, so it was a little tricky, but uh, everything worked out. The way I did it was very simple. Um, the American gentleman, Western Union, me, the money for the lens. I use Western Union because in my opinion, this is just my opinion and my experience, yours may differ. Um, it's secure, the fees are not bad at all. Um, and there's no worrying about like a, a Zoom holding your money or PayPal holding your money or anything like that. You know, it's instantaneous and it works every time, it's never failed. So I had them Western Union me the money. Um, I took the item to the post office, paid for the shipping, put the item in the box. The post office did the rest of the work. They filled out all the paperwork, gave me my receipt, and I was on my way. It took about 10 minutes. Um, so it wasn't too bad. Let me give you the information that I do have. Uh, first, the box and packaging at the post office, I got this, a very small box, um, was only 31 pesos. The shipping itself was 145 pesos. Very cheap to ship domestically, apparently. Now, th keep in mind, this is with a one kilogram, because that's the minimum, a one kilogram package. Um, if you go up in uh, weight, that price is going to go up as well. Um, so the total for the post office charges for shipping, boxing, packaging, everything was 157.14 and that is in pesos, 157 pesos and 14 cents. Um, if you add that with the VAT tax, which is 12%, uh, the total amount I paid for shipping was 176 pesos. That is to ship from Bambang to Manila a one kilogram package. Uh, again, if you go up in weight, it's going to cost you more money. Now, uh, that process was fairly simple. There was really nothing to it. Um, that's how I did it. Let's talk about some international rates real quick. Uh, I have found in trying to sell my camera equipment that uh, nobody in America wants to buy it and have it shipped from the Philippines without seeing it first. I can't say that I blame them. So I'm going to be shipping my equipment to a family member uh, to sell in America and in order to do that uh, here are the rates I'm looking at to ship to the United States the maximum weight you can ship is 31 and a half kilograms for the first kilogram it will cost you 1599 pesos uh, and this is air parcel in addition Additional kilo or fraction thereof, and they're always going to round up, of course, uh, is 733 pesos. This is from one of the charts that I have. 
Um, there are various charts with various numbers on them. If you're familiar with the Philippine Bureau of Immigration System, you know that it changes um, every, every two months, basically. There's a different price, there's a different something, there's a different express fee. Kind of works the same way in the postal system from what I'm seeing. Um, I'm not seeing a lot of consistency, and this is only from a few weeks of dealing with them. Uh, so the first chart that I had said that it was a little over 2,000 pesos for the uh, first kilogram and then it was about uh, 1200 pesos for each kilogram after so unfortunately I'm gonna have to estimate those rates for you right now and really that's just a ballpark um, how much money you're gonna need to ship stuff to America from the Philippines because these rates as I say will change periodically without notice uh, just as the Bureau of Immigration changes their rates and they have the right to do so as their government you know we're guests here so we live by their rules but that is the shipping information for you guys I hope that uh, this helps someone and uh, if you have any questions comments uh, regarding shipping here in the Philippines any information you would like to give me uh, so that I can pass on through the channel that would be wonderful uh, please feel free to comment in the comment section below I'll see you guys soon.